All right, so it's day two, about here, in the garage. Finally got them boogers in there, and they were a pain in the ass. But I got it. Two down, fourteen more to go. Ha ha ha! Woo! So excited. Time to get these. Uh, Time to get these out, which I already undid the, the keepers, so I just have to pull the springs and the retainers up out of there and pop out the old uh, valve stem seals. And Oh, look at that. Looks like there's something laying down there. Hold on, there it is. Right there, if you can see it. Yeah. Get it inspect and see what that is. Looks like a piece of the uh, valve stem seal. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that was leaking, number two and three. So I'm going to get my pliers, reach down, I'm going to grip and wiggle, you know, the rocket and get it out of there. These things, man, they sit in there pretty damn good. Don't be worrying about damaging them when you pull them because you're going to. Look at that. It's not even round. And the rubber still, you know, still kind of spongy, but it's got a hard spots in it. So that's not good. Hard spots equals leaks. All right, guys. So I got the last of the valve stem seals done. And as you see, I'm rocking right along. Figure I'll throw this in there, you know, real quick. Uh, when you're timing these down there. Got your white mark lined up with the timing mark on the cover. These things are handy. That'll put your cams in dead time and that holds them in place while you get the belt and stuff on. And then when you uh, go to set the tension, you bar the engine counterclockwise. Three teeth. And that should set the tension. Then you tighten your tensioner down there. So I'm about to do that and see how it feels. Make sure you pre-lube. Try to get some light in there. There's some light in there. Make sure you pre-lube everything so it doesn't run dry. But I got the ITR cams cleaned up. They're in there. And uh, yeah, man. This thing should be running tomorrow. Once I get this timing set and the belt on, uh, it's time to go get some food and get cleaned up, call it a night. All right, so after you get done setting your timing and everything, uh, when you bar it, you know, just count your teeth. One, two, three. After it rotates three teeth, tighten your tensioner bolt down there. Then you have to bar the engine over oh, one whole revolution. Bring it back. Make sure that you're lined up down there on the crank. And your cam gears are lined up and everything's looking good tensions good on you know both sides so check that and uh, yeah that's that so now I just got to uh, tomorrow get ready to set the overhead get the header back on coolant lines fuel injector uh, harness all the other little bells and whistles and uh, this thing will be running so stay tuned Ready to see what it does. Probably have to adjust, adjust some fuel maps on it since we went with a larger cam. And uh, eventually, well, this this is just a temporary thing. I was going to say take it up to Mark Edens and have him uh, tune it, but it's just temporarily. So as long as it's fun to drive, it's all that matters, right? Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Just a quick uh, short video for a uh, Labor Day.